episode of The French Took On The World. So, as you guys remember from the last episode, we filled one of our goals of taking on, of freeing Romania from the uh, Austrian oppressors, and I think significantly weakening Romania. I mean, Austria and the process, yeah, they dropped from being like up here to being down there, so we did good. Um, right now, we're pulling out all the troops again. And, you know, just kind of relaxing from that big, gigantic war. And, as we know from another instance, the uh, Polish decided to declare war on this little state of Krakow again, and is promptly getting that butt whooped. So, you know, I've kind of given up on the Polish independence because they've kind of... Well, I'm not going to give up on them, but they kind of seem really stupid and retarded with the fact they keep on fighting Krakow. They should just give up on Krakow and should have been trying to go... F they should... Honestly, they should have been trying to go for this region while we were fighting against Austria. That would have been a perfect time to fight, but... Anyways, you know, eventually we'll go in and go help them out and go feed them up and everything. But that's not the time. Right now, it's finally the time to finally get that causes belly. Oh, no. Heck no, am I happy with you, Polish. You Polish people. I mean, Belgium. I was really your only friend, but now I'm about done. And apparently, Prussia... Wow, Prussia just can't deal with it. Prussia had another rebellion, where they became from a... Yes, the Jacobson Rebels. Ha <laughs> ha! The Jacobson Rebels! Oh, oh, oh my... Ah ha ha! Oh, that's funny. That, that's funny. That is hilarious. So, the, the, the Prussians, I think, have become more liberal. They have weighted, univer weighted universal. They have base... They have... They have a voting system based on population. They have meetings allowed, free press, non-socialists allowed, um, and gerrymandering, which gerrymandering is not good, but... So let's see. Yep, they're back to the original Pushkin flag. <laughs> wow, they just... Wow, they just went full circle. But apparently, the uh, Jacobson rebels are communists. It doesn't make any sense, actually, but... Anyways, so yeah. We're back to getting... Back to Belgium. So now we will... Justify our war to acquire state of the Belgians, which I don't know why we can't just go in and go take them over, but it must be like a sin or something. Even though they only have like two regions, and it should we should logically, with nationalism and imperialism, be able to take them over, but I don't know. So socialist communists are trying to gain ground in my country. Um, it's not exactly working. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're still kind of on a high from that whole shoot. Oh, they're possible. They took power. Wow. Uh, good thing I still have the power to do that. And good pensions is that... What is the biggest reform that everyone wants right now? The biggest reform is pro-military. Yeah, you see, I was about to say, most people are for the military, not against it. It's like the biggest thing we have in moralism... Voters, genderism. Yeah, you see, most people are for the military. I don't know why we're, like, trying to limit the military power, because most of my people are imperialistic shiners. Okay, so I'm going to lower the ta taxes. Rich, poor. Um, can I get it? No. About 77 should be good. That should propel my... Oh, shoot. That was a little bit too much of a steep drop. I'm going to have to increase it evenly. And the Wildcat Bills. Our population... No, I don't want Dubai to pay anything. Dubai is a pretty good state right now. It's It's been pretty loyal to me. And so I won't have them pay it, and I'm going to lower my... Oh my goodness, my military is just like taking up so much. Well, actually, wait, wait, actually, wait, wait. We actually do need to keep spending on military because um, we need to... We need to refill all the dead military men that died in this war. Yeah, we just need to be, we just we just need to refill our numbers because look how many men we lost during this. And we have some numbers. Okay, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. Okay. And now we have new technology. Man, we're actually kind of maxing out a lot of this technology and tech and stuff like that. And we're just gonna get this. And we actually gained everyone. Not shockingly, we gained back in the seventh place with our industrial power. So, I mean, our industrial power, our uh, prestige. So, 
congratulations to us and oh my goodness I think because the Polish have just the uh, everyone I think we might actually be misjudged about the Polish I mean not the Polish the uh the push the uh Polish yeah no the Polish that was the right word because they're actually um they're actually fairly much winning this war or at least they're trying to win it because now since Prussia was distracted by their own internal problems they had the opportunity and 8.8 .8 infamy I hate you even more now Belgium seriously and we finally oh my goodness we finally discovered great war great wars which actually is kind of funny because we fought about two or three now and we still haven't counted that because I still count the first one we fought for the independence of Poland as a great war and yeah, you guys are basically messed up because you guys did not include me in this war. Can I join you guys though? Anyway, because I don't... You know what? War subsidize. It will receive each month from us. Okay. That's good. I'll see if that will help their war effort. And the Belgium menace. They're coming for us. Because now I'm really mad at Belgium. They just cost me some infamy. So. You know. It's fine. It's finally time. And what region am I going to take? I'm going to take this region, lower region right here. And that's going to give me what kind of resources? Huh. It's going to give me like all the lower iron and deposits and stuff like that. Which is good. And we have some lumber mills that collapsed. Brilliant. Got some of this. French Ghana should not be making more. What's already done. And no, we still got one more factory that collapsed. Okay, right here. A laborist faction. And we got economy recovering a little bit. And that's a little bit too high of taxes. I'll admit it right now. That's a little bit too high of taxes. So let's lower it for the lower class. And let's speed up the time. And I'm, 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 get, I'm getting pretty pumped right now. We're about to invade the slower part of Belgium, and many people might say that this was a stupid thing to do. You should have used your infamy for a wiser reason. Reason. And I'm like, hey, you know what? A war against somebody that wronged you in the past and should have joined your war, it's a reason enough for me to do it. And, yep, Belgium seems to be losing. I mean, Poland seems to now be losing at the expected rate. Even though I'm subsidizing them, they're not going to win. I mean, they could try. But I don't think they're going to win. And Romania is beginning to build up their own military. And hopefully, they are much smarter than their Polish brethren. Who just threw away their... their I swear, they're just throwing away their chance of independence. And the mission to Belgium is now decreasing. <coughs> <coughs> it's going to take about 138 days. In that time, I'm going to move my extremely veteran army to go around because I want to make this one of the quickest invasions ever and who are the allies oh the Austrians will not be able to go to war against me or will not be able to join the war against me so this is just gonna be me just cakewalking in and destroying the Belgians which is not in any sense of the way is not bad now, I just got a text what does it say okay Sky text about a new recording tomorrow. Brandon, oh, speaking of which, one of my friends, Brandon, finally got his recording. This is probably going to be old when this comes out, but Brandon finally has his new computer, and he's going to start uploading stuff, so expect content from him. Okay? And we're gearing up, and I think I'll be able to finish the Great Wars, yes. So I'll read this for you. Geopolitical scholars held a... Sin symbolism last week and came to a broad agreement that rises in nationalist sentiment, military pride, and new and fearsome weapons of war mean that the future conflict involving many great powers are likely to fall into an entirely new category called Great Wars. It is likely that greater territorial changes, humiliation, and national liberations will feature, though outright annexations are still considered to be unlikely, with man's stubbornness, ingenuity, and violent nature led to the very destruction of the earth, only time will tell. Well, actually, we already know that we don't have the capabilities until we invent nuclear bombs. And as much as I would really love to do use a Victorian-era plane to drop a nuclear bomb... No, I would love to use a balloon. Balloon, everyone! Remember, a balloon from the episodes that every single wealthy man has to go drop, to go drop a bomb. 
and kill every single person in the world. Okay, so right now our only our only kind of infrastructure. Wow, dang! I thought they were also upgrading um ports, so we just have to kind of upgrade our ports a little bit because we have a little bit outdated ports. It's actually costing us a lot. Wow. Okay, so yeah, we just we just upgrade some of our ports so that when we can, we're gonna start building dreadnoughts. So that's really that's really where I want to spend most of my money. My money. Ah, you know, people. It stinks like forgetting words and like forgetting phrases. Okay, no, no, no. That's gonna decline us too much. I wanna make sure we keep in like a hundred range. There we go. So yeah, that's gonna probably decline. Yep, but we should have enough and actually we can actually stop funding our military as much but I want to make sure that when we go into Belgium we completely crush these guys and they will never recover that's that's ultimately my goal and as I thought we have gained a quiet state okay and as I thought everyone Poland is now just this um hopefully they won't get anything more taken away from them and you know what, last episode, I was thinking about spearing the Ottomans. I've officially decided I'm spearing the Ottomans. They are worthy people to spear. They have a powerful ingenuity. And wait, are they actually... Huh. I almost feel like I should wait and see if these guys... You know what, I'm gonna wait. Because they're gonna declare war on the Pleskins. And then I'm going to declare war on them, and we're just going to completely, between both of us, we should completely destroy the 97, 97, wait, 97, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Yeah, this is, wow, this is going to be so easy. And, so let's see, are they going to go to war now? Yep, they went to war. They went to war. Okay, and just so that... Portugal knows who its allies are. Yep, it's going to join me. Okay. Uh, declare war. Quiet state, Belgium, Washington. And there we go. <laughs> oh, this is too perfect. We're just going to stop these guys. Okay. So let's move in. Let's move in. Let's move in. Move in my troops. Move in my troops. Move in these guys to Brussels. I move these guys right here. Oh my goodness. This is going to be too easy. Okay, and of course, I did not expect um, Portugal to turn against me. They're, my, they're one of my allies, and oh my goodness, this is going to be so quick and easy. Okay, yep, they tried to mobilize. I defeated their men. Yep, the, the men are dying. Wow. Just, this is just a slaughter. I mean, I, I, this, I, I honestly should not be doing this, but this is just me getting revenge on the Belgians for... Yeah, so, remember people, when you guys decide to be my ally, do not, and I repeat, do not try to backstab me. Otherwise, something like this will happen, where you're pinned up against the wall against both the French and the Pushkins coming at you at the same exact time. So, as we can see, this is really, I mean, this is, this is really just paper pushing. We're not even, this isn't really, we're sending in any of our big armies. Oh, we're sending in all of our elite guard, and Belgium, this is probably them saying, oh no, we made a mistake, yep. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh man. So mean. So mean. But it was worth it. And all that planning, all that planning and, you know, all that avoiding of conquering anyone else, that was completely worth it for the fact that we just crushed them. And that was less than a, that was less than a month that we had to take. Okay, I'm gonna like pull these guys out. I'm gonna like pull these guys out. Oh my goodness. And now, we now have a gigantic front. And our sphere of influence has now increased. Um, in fact, I think if the... We can now actually start extending these... These uh, forts. Because they're actually gonna be more important now. So we now have a bigger line against... The uh... Okay, I'm gonna open up any... I'm gonna open up all the factories that closed down in that amount of time. Which was really quick, but apparently it was enough to close down some factories. Okay, and we're going to start spreading our army again. <laughs> oh, okay. And there we go. There we go, everyone. That was the epic war. I'll put in quotations. The epic war between us 
Oh, in the Ottoman Empire. Between us and... Oh my goodness. Without men over there, I need to go get some men over there. Okay, uh, how many do I have here? Okay, 11. 11. Do I have any 11 troops? Right here. Let's go down here and go send these guys down there. But anyways, that was the epic conclusion of the... Ottoman War. Not the Ottoman War. Oh, wait, no! Ah oh, man, I keep forgetting. The reason why I can't... Yeah, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Just, just drop it. I can't... I'm sorry, I'm sorry... I'm sorry, Ottomans, but I can't actually spear you because um, I'm going to be fighting against you in just like a couple turns. In fact, you know, we'll, I'll, I'll continue this episode. I know I've been doing longer episodes recently, but I'll continue this episode until... Until... Until it's good. Okay, you guys all combine. And kill off all you guys' dead units. We don't need any, like, dead people in the army. Okay, but yeah. So let's just start spreading out our land and dang you know this not to be rude but this kind of feels right for like france we own like the lower part of belgium and and sweden is it's still being taken away by the russian empire the russians are not giving up not to, not to be surprised and we got another factories we got a couple factories that closed down that amount of time all from france walney which I'm going to open back up, because now since they're under French control, they should actually start succeeding. Because I actually, because since this is a new region, I want to make sure that they are welcomed with open arms to the French Empire, and realize their, their potentiality with our expanding realm into the new horizon. Fancy way of saying, you guys better be quiet, otherwise, oh no! No, no, no! 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 Heck no! 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 How the heck did they do that? How the heck did they do that? Okay. Okay, that is just not even fair. That is just not even fair. I did everything. I mean, they don't even have all the states united. How did they form? Oh, you did it now. Shit. Next episode, people, I, I, there will be no spoilers. We're going after Germany, and we're going to re-break these guys up. So, prepare for that, prepare for an action-packed episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Ah, salut, everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of the French Let's Play of us just taking over everything and establishing our dominance over Europe. Okay, so last episode, we had a major thing happen, and I bet you guys can already realize it, already realize it while I'm mad, the Germans, for some reason, decided to form again. Now, I am completely and utterly mad, because I thought in this game, all you had to do was, you know, block them from getting enough sphere nations, and they'll never form Germany. Well, apparently that isn't the case anymore, and they can just form Germany willy-nilly now. I mean, look at this, I still have, in fact, I still have Wunswick in my control, and Austria still has its little states underneath their control. And so, and now, apparently, you could just form Germany, no matter what, so, I, 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 I'm mad, I'm frankly mad, and so what I instantly did, was I gotta declare war, free the people, and we're either going to free the Polish people over here, and with our massive amounts of alliances and army, I don't think it'll be much of trouble. Because the Pushkins have been t been through too much to do anything to do to fight against us otherwise, or the other nation I'm thinking of, of releasing is actually Prussia in Russia, so that we actually can split the nation up into like different sectors. And I'm gonna go send these guys over here because we need to do that. And the Tomps Revolution, Bremen Crisis, Collapse, New Party, whatever, whatever, whatever. Ah, right now we are out for blood and revenge. Yeah, 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 as you can see, I'm usually a very calm guy and usually very reserved and kind of timid about these kind of things. But this was one of my original goals in this entire Let's Play. And actually, I'm... Uh, um, I'm going to hope that no one wants to join this crisis right now because I really don't want to do it. Like, seriously, I, I have bigger fish to fry. I have to make sure the Germans are beaten back down to a pulp. 
Wait, do I have a save? Just making sure. Yeah, 1991, 05. Yeah, I have a save. Okay, it's making sure. Making sure I'm not just going this completely gun ho. Just in case the like the file crashes or you know something is. Cause I have been recording for a little bit now. And I don't wanna like lose any of this. And okay, did somebody support him? Okay, yes, no one supported them, thank goodness. <laughs> no sorry Poland. I'll free you another time, but for right now, this is a little bit more important. We have to make sure... Oh, I only gained like 3.9 infamy too. So, here we go. I'm going to instant... So, we're going to try to break these guys up. And we're gaining the um, Liberation Front. And who do they have on their allies? <laughs> They're at war with Belgium and they have no allies right now. This is perfect. And we have like the utmost of allies. Steel factories. You know what? Just close them. Just close them. I'm not even going to help my factories to just collapse anymore. You guys aren't making me any money. Okay? Okay. I'm glad we understand each other. Okay, Latomps. Uh, crisis averted. Java goes to war. Whatever Java wants to do, it's fine with me. And the USA expands. I don't know where the USA would expand to. I mean, unless they want to take over Canada. Which, Canada. Canada. Canada, everyone. Okay. So, it seems like this is a new war that I didn't even anticipate. I, I honestly did not, did not expect this to actually happen, but we're, we're doing this immediately. Okay, so who do we want to flee? Bonveria, Hanschmidt, Poland, Poland, Lithuania. We're going to free the Polish provinces from their land. We're going to call on all my allies, which most of them should join, actually, because this isn't, this isn't really going to be like... Oh, wait a minute. Japan. Wait, Japan's also on our side. Okay. So let's do this. Declare war. Liberate country. We're going to liberate the Polish people. And we're calling all of our allies. Go in. Let's do this, stupid Germans. You guys should not have done this again. You guys should not have formed. This was your only rule in this game. Which you're not supposed to form. You guys formed. And so now you guys are going to be attacked by as much army and as much as I can raise against you. So we're going to see who's our allies, who are real allies. Of course, I didn't expect Japan to join in. They were kind of skippious about the whole idea. And do I have all you guys? Actually, Roman, you guys are pretty horrible right now. You guys are pretty much in a state of disarray. But over here, we have all of our men moving in. I mean, I'm the one who's being aggressive this time. I'm not even letting them... Technically, I'm not even letting them breathe right now. This is like just a couple months after the war we already just... Hey, it's, it's kind of funny. It's This is like only two years after the war we just fought together. Where you guys... Where you guys just like skimpied out. In fact, you know, this is going to be an added on reason why we're fighting you guys. It's because you guys declared... Oh, shoot. That was a mistake. That was a mistake I did not see until just now. Ooh. It seems like the Germans have a slight bit advantage against me when it comes to militaristic power. Um. That is not quite the best thing to happen to me. But I don't think it's the worst. Like, I honestly think we could get through this if I just... Yeah, the first, the first battle did not turn out the way I wanted. But then again, I'm going in pretty hot-headed right now. <laughs> and it seems like I'm going to... This is actually a real battle right here. So we're going to see how good the... Uh, yeah, if it's really a battle, we're about even in strength. If it's not really a battle, we're going to lose heavily. Because right now we're tying them and we're pretty bad on them. Okay, so we got these guys moving in right here. You guys move in right there. So we want to make sure that these guys don't gain the upper hand in any war. Bourgeois, whatever. Bourgeois values. Okay, and we're losing heavily right there. I can't reinforce that place yet. Yep. I couldn't reinforce because I didn't have enough didn't have enough manpower. Okay. Now we're just going to go send as many troops as we can to go kill this unit off. Tis was, whatever, tis be. Whatever you want to consider. And now... We're still losing heavily. We're gonna have to like destroy these guys right here. Okay, we have our troops moving in right there. Okay, we still got 
they're still trying to like figure out ways to get in over here. So I'm gonna try to crush them. Okay, so we won that battle. I'm gonna try to go cut them off. Cut them off right there. All my men move down right here. All my men right here stay right there. Okay, we got more men coming up. You guys start moving in right there. Alright, so this is the first war where I'm going in completely and utterly hot-headed. You guys have not noticed I am... Okay, you guys make some more men. Make as much as you can. We're, ma we're building an army here. Okay, you guys make Africa. I have some... I can make a lot of soldiers in Africa, actually. Um, sure, why not? Let's make some... Let's make some just regular soldiers in, in Asia. So that we have a good... That way it increases our military score. And... You guys, just keep be just keep beating up that army, make it not get a break. Yeah, it seems like yeah, all my all my vassals are slowly helping me out here, and we're just crushing the Great German Republic as it'll soon be called, and just making sure that they do not recover from this, and making sure that the attempts at a democracy are all for naught, because the French decided a long, long time ago that there'd be no such thing as a German, as a fully united German state. And I know this will, I know this will not break them apart fully, but this will take away, this will take away all this part. So that will weaken them a lot. So, and you're just gonna have, I'm just gonna have to take the lumps I can get because somehow they formed Germany. I don't even know how they formed Germany. That's, I think that's above all my biggest question right now is how did they form Germany? You know, Okay, so we're going to keep collapsing this army. Okay, we got that. Lazy nades need to adapt. Move in this army right over here. Okay, so we got this. Man, we're just... I shouldn't say we're just crushing them, but we are just crushing them. They're not even... Now that we defeated the overall army, now we're just crushing them. Now now they're feeling my... Now they're feeling hurt. Now they're feeling pain. Now they're feeling what I... What my soldiers can do to them. And realizing they should not have ever decided, hey, you know, maybe for the better good of our countries, maybe we should all join together. No, you should not have done that. That, <sighs> okay. So, everyone, as, as you can see, this is, this is a completely personal vendetta. I'm going against the Germans. But we already knew this was coming for a while. And I bet even the Germans kind of knew it was coming for all, the la for all the efforts I had done to prevent them from ever forming. And they should have honestly not formed. And so now they're going to feel the hurt from it. So you guys go free, go kill these guys. You guys go move in right here. You guys go move in right there. Okay. We should have all of Eastern Hangover taken over before. Before not much time. This is this is just like. This is this war is just going so quick. I mean I'm not even fully mobilized. I'm already like taking over lots of chunks. And how's their mobilization effort going? It's going okay, <laughs> to say the least. They're not dying. I mean, they're standing a pretty good chance right now. Well, right now. Just right now, not any other time. Just right now. Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys combine. Move up. And, yeah. This is definitely not going to be that classic war of... If, this is probably... This is more of us just blitzing creaking them. Seriously. I mean, look, they even have rebels still. We're still fighting them when they have rebels. They haven't even, like, fully gained the country under control. And we're not going to give them the opportunity to gain the country fully under their control. We're just going to go straight in and just keep conquering. There is nothing we're holding back. And Sarah Bontent on World Tour. That's good. Does it give us prestige? It does give us prestige. That's good. Okay. And we're going to move on our soldiers. Keep moving in, soldiers. We're sending in everything we got against them everything there was not one man or woman or man or man because we haven't not enacted reforms yet for women but all the men are fighting in this war if you can fight in this war you're fighting in it and i'm not letting you sap out and it seems like the belgians actually with with this the belgians are actually gaining might actually gain some land from this but i don't see how effective that would be because they're kind of split off from the main the main army so it's kind of like worrying some. Okay, so we got. I, don't th I think we're almost upgrading to all third tier technologies. 
and the Germans, as I understand it, are almost, as I can see, they, they are almost completely dead. I have almost completely destroyed them in almost a sheer stroke of genius. This is not even, we've already crushed, cut off some of the men, um, I mean, we're rapidly moving through the tech the territory and they're having major rebel problems yeah you see this look at all this rebel problems I'm actually if I move in any further I'll probably just help them out with the rebels and I, I wish in this game they could have like a Soviet kind of thing or a um, 1917 October Revolution where you know the rebels may turn onto your side because you know they don't like the previous dictator and you know they'll be like yeah we're friends now yay no you have to kill rebels okay Seems like the rebels are actually like being a little bit annoying. They're actually like spawning in places I already dealt with. And I'm gonna go send my soldiers who are way more elite. Oh my goodness, I, <laughs> these guys, yeah, just send these guys over here and just have them camp. Okay, you guys go right here. You guys go right there. And you guys go right there. Bloomberg, Luxembourg, I mean, yeah. This is. <sighs> This is a hey, this is an anger war. This is definitely an anger war. And the Fushkins honestly have nothing to defend themselves. And maybe if we're lucky, they might deform again. You know, deform from all that progress they just made. And so that we can just go back in and go kick their butts. Hmm. Because right now we're doing pretty good. And this actually does help us, because then now the Polish maybe will actually have a long live France, Abon. Wherever Abon is, long live it. Long live France, in this nation of France, and, oh man, if I was really greedy, if I did have the infamy, I would say I'd want to go take over more, because, I mean, at this point, we are the strongest naval power, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna, like, pretend to be courteous about that, we are the strongest, we are the strongest nation in the world, and we can take on every single other nation, no one else will be able to do anything, you know what, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously thinking of this. Maybe I should just buffer my zone a little bit more and take over a little bit more of Germany. You know, like, take over... Uh, let's see the regions. Um, Cleves. Cleves, would that be a good region to take over? It has lots of coal. Um, I think it might actually push me over to be the biggest producer of coal in the world. Um, no, because China had to be a a mean guy and just completely double the production of it. Thanks, China. Thanks. You had to do that. Or, you know, I could just conquer it. Hmm. It's ideas. Right now, I'm just spewing out ideas. So I don't really know what I want to do because right now, I'm so angry that it's just like everything's a blur. Everything I'm doing right now is just a blur of anger and s and not just a little bit of sweat, I guess. Because I'm a little bit tired. <sighs> Mm, but yeah let's see let's see how it's going liberating country by their accounts they apparently don't have anything to lose and they still could potentially win out wow they're really hoping a lot is gonna happen and I'm not gonna like take them over okay you guys move in here crush their rebels you guys take over that little lower part of Germany that you know is kind of classic to the look of Germans Okay, you guys do this. Okay, now that we got... Has, do we have every single technology? No, we don't have every single technology. Third, third tiered. We want to make sure we have all third tiered. Okay, now that we conquer this, go right here. <sighs> okay. You guys, go help them over here. Help them speed up the process. Um, over here, you guys go crush the rest of these guys. Over here, you guys go f help them finish up their... Conquests. And as you can see... We're rapidly approaching the Polish line that I set. And there we go. Okay, you guys go down here. And. Okay, you guys go right here. <laughs> okay, anyone finish yet with Conquest? Okay, yes, we finished conquering. Oh, wait, no, we did not finish conquering Berlin. I thought that was Berlin. Okay, you guys at the 96,000, you guys go right here. We're we'll going to send you guys to go kick over Berlin with speeding up pace. Okay, and the rebels just charged into my army for some frank reason, I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> okay, so you guys go right here. You guys go help the Swedes go finish up their conquest. Um, you guys, um, you guys go right here. And how are we doing down here? We're still taking over most of this, but it seems like it's coming up. And wow, this is like, it's only been like a year and we're already almost done with this war. Wow, this was just a quick me bashing them to death. Hmm. And if I could take the infamy limit right now, I would still just, you know, take over more. But, sadly, I can't do that. And we're moving into Polish land now. And we're just gonna flood right in. Not really much to really explain right there. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. Because right now, they really are just being bullied by me. And... I don't honestly care. I'm still pretty mad at them for doing what they did. But... <sighs> okay, we have some regions back here that we need to take care of. So I'm going to go send some men back here. To kind of mop up some of this unconquered territory. Mm. We, have a, we have the rest of the regions down here in, in Bavaria ready to be conquered. I'm going to go send these guys up to over here. Um, the Swedish are actually helping us. I didn't know we called them into this war. Okay, you guys move in. You guys move in. You guys go help. Yeah, go help the Ita The Italians? What? Huh? Okay. Everyone, welcome the new state of Italia to the world. Which means I gained, like, less vassals. Dang. But, uh, we're still gonna, that, huh. Okay, so, apparently, like, everyone, all those in Prussia and Germany must now just form automatically. It must not be a, uh, you have to actually work hard at it to form them. It's just, uh, you get it automatically now. And are you guys about done? Hmm. Okay, now that you guys are about done, um, now I want to see if I can add some more goals. Let's see, what could I add? No. Not to, not to, not to my nice allies, the Italians, but, let's see. Because, yeah, they weren't formed in the beginning. Acquire a state of, of, um, German Ryland. How much would that give me? That would give me 11 information. Ah, oh, dang. No, I could just not take it. I'm just, I'm just not going to risk it. So, next time he asks me, next time they ask me to, you know, get Poland, I will get Poland. It's going to take probably a little bit, because... They don't want... Wait, can they... Will they accept peace? They will accept this offer. Okay. And... Let me pause it. For epic effect. Whew! Whew! Everyone! We did it! We officially, like... Destroyed... And I mean, seriously, we destroyed... The entire army of the Germans and potentially ruin their nation for years to come. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Hello, hello, hello. Testing, testing, testing. One, three, one, three.